<laughs> and he trimmed my hair, I think. Uh. <laughs> Now, what caught me by surprise first off is I thought I was going to be encountering just two systems and yeah. they both had air conditioning. But then when I, when I got in here, I went, oh, no, wait a minute. The basement doesn't have any air conditioning. It's heat only. This is the basement unit you're looking at. Notice how the goes down through the floor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this is a high efficiency. All three of these are high efficient units. These are these are super efficient, but they, this is the the ICS system. These are super super fancy. Yeah, they have the that's the ICS system is like the 90i from Bryant with the DC motor, I think. Right. Well, I've dated these. I've uh, looked at them. You need to have regular annual service cleaning. Well, you know, both of these are to the uh, main floor. This humidifier. They're junk to begin with, but this one had major cascading water flow out of it. If you want it, these are an ongoing maintenance nightmare. Think about it first. What am I doing? I'm spraying water into a heated duct, and I've created a mold farm. But I'm not here to sell you on these. The people that sell them tell you that everything is fine. So believe what you want. Uh, down here, notice these uh, have an exhaust pipe that's plastic. They also have an intake pipe that's plastic. This one is drawing from the basement. It right. used to draw up here. There's a cutoff pipe up there. Do you see that one? See yeah. that cutoff? See yeah. that cutoff there? So they've uh, altered the piping as they upgraded these units over time. Filters all change. This one changes here. The one there to your right changes down low, down over here. So I mean, easy to get to the filters and upgrade those. The uh, the insulation here has been shorted about an inch. If you see that end of the mm -hmm. pipe, as a result, it sweats. Drip. It drips down. That's the blue dripping. It can go down and short the motherboard. You need about 35 cents of insulation on there on this one and on the one over behind you. Uh, water softener. Over here, it's time to add salt. You can see how much salt they have in there now. You fill that up to here. And it's a very big, tall unit, you can see. Over here, you have uh, uh, some kind of solenoid switching system for probably lighting. Is probably what this is for. This is, I have pictures in this panel. This panel has a couple things that are uh, need repaired inside. Uh, two of the breakers here. One has two wires going through it. The other has three wires going to it. Double and triple lug. And, and triple yet lugged. they have spaces in it. Still. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. Doesn't, make sense. doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense why they did that. Over here on our water heaters, the installation, fair at best. They've used uh, plumber's tape as seismic strapping. It isn't sufficient. They're missing a, de a drain pipe over here. They were done at different times. Notice this is 2017, mm -hmm. this is 2013. They upgraded this flue here when they have to go with a bigger flue now. To carry the... Uh, and this still has the smaller. They do have an expansion tank up here that leaked real badly at one time. You'll see here, see the rusted connection mm -hmm. there. They had to upgrade the expansion tank. Uh, these typically go 8 to 12 years. Furnaces typically 15 to 20 years. Uh, don't say that. My Bradford Whites are as old as my house, which was built in 99, so I got two of them. They make a lot of crackling and snapping, popping noises, though. Because every six months, Drew does not hook up a garden hose and drain the sediment I have, off. I have it never... Built, right. You and every other Utah, and I've met three people since I've lived here that have ever done that. What happens is it gets sediment on the bottom, and the heat's got to get through that, and you get this snap, crackle, pop sound, but you know... You know how it goes. <laughs> now, what you're telling me is the Bradford White model, you've totally abused yours, totally abused it, and it's lasted how long? It, 18, 19 years. Yeah, I'd buy the same exact model again. and then, They're uh, good ones. Yeah. You know they're the good. The difference between Bradford White and State State, you can buy at the home store or home center. Bradford White are usually professionally installed, but this one wasn't as a, yeah. without a dis discharge pipe. Uh, what else can I tell you? Central vac over in here, in here. We also have a crack in the foundation. See this hairline curing yeah. crack? And you'll see the bleed out of water down And there. this is under where there was that massive, this is under those big gutters too. Right. So this. At the corner. At the yep. corner of those big, yep. big gutters. 
And when you start looking up here and you go, okay, are there any other water flow signs down this wall? And there have been, and it's out, it, it ties back into where the gutters were upgraded. Yeah. As far as piping, you'll see copper piping for water supply piping. The only other kind of piping you have is over above your water softener. And that's little your plastic pecs in there. And then it's not the polybutylene, it's the pecs. Yeah. And that covers our service room. So you've seen everything. Uh, it all could be in a whole lot worse condition. It looks to me like they paid to have most of this stuff done. I think that some of the professionals they hired were top notch, and I think some of the professionals they hired eh, cut, cut corners here and there. So be it. Okay. So be it. I didn't see any major toolbox or anything like that. It doesn't look like like they did their own repairs. At all. No, I I think they. Um, I mean. For a house of its age, I would say it's probably in the 90th percentile of how well it's been maintained. Yeah, and, and then it just gets back to, oh, take a look back down here. You know, we were talking about, uh, about uh, daycare centers. You know, you do have this door. You did raise that doorway uh -huh. up to make it more convenient. Could that be your entryway for your daycare center? She doesn't do daycare. She does homeschool for the kids. Oh, that's different. Yeah. Oh, just for her kids? For her, her own kids. Oh, I'm sorry. I was under the impression yeah. that... Uh, yeah. Are you sure? I mean, because some of the homeschoolers, I do Monday, you do Thursday. Yep, and, and, yep. that's you know. what she's done. She she has a master's degree in education. But does she do it every day with just her own kids, or is she taking on other kids? Well, I know... I No, I think she just does her own kids, okay. but okay. I'm pretty sure sure that, that, that she's only going to do her own kids. Well... She, she does it not because they How many kids need the money. Kids Four. Four. Three girls and a little boy. Up what age? I think the oldest is 10. Okay. And the, the rest of them are younger than that. So, so they're in the prime years then, prime schooling years, mm -hmm. the prime playing in the yard. Oh my gosh, the kids are so, the great kids. I did notice out here, I don't know how communal the backyards are by dispositions. Pretty. The but neighbors on the uphill side came and talked to us, and mm -hmm. they're great. They're a they're a selling feature, so.